there are quite a few games um, on the horizon, and we may. Uh, that's off a little bit. We may. Okay, yeah, because of the uh, base plate. Got it. Okay. Um, we'll see. Let me know if the music is too loud. I don't know if the music is overwhelming the uh, stream. Last chance to surrender. Sounds loud. down just a little bit. I feel like I'm actually getting into a kung fu fight with somebody. Uh, so let's see. Um, clear that out and end our turn. So, um, yeah, so new player, kind of confused on what that card does. I'm not going to complain about that one bit. Say that. So, we are going to coin out this young lady, get some board presence on the board and start building our wall of Shifu. Somebody told me that, whispered that uh, that's kind of what's called when I, I'm not one of the few people that build this giant wall of creatures, they call it the wall of Shifu, trademark. Alright, so at this point, we just go ahead and push in here. Protect the allergies behind um, Safety Goat. Some of you are probably wondering, or just joined the stream. I see a lot of people watch the stream um, because of the early time. Watch people at night. I see a lot of views on my account, and I really appreciate everybody's watching. If you can't be here for the live broadcast, thank you for watching it on delay. I really appreciate that. Um, so we are. Um, we may play some games with my fiance today. That's like something we'll do on stream. Some of you were thinking my daughter was going to be here today. She is not going to be here this week. She has a uh, bad foot. She couldn't travel. This is kind of sad. So Shen is a very strong deck, as we know, so we kind of expected that. Once again, that's kind of our that's our strategy with the allergist is to activate him and then put him behind a taunter like the heroic hatchling or safety goat as a blocker and in essence he's like our early game momentum building arsenal we protect him we don't want to leave him out there to be cleaned up by a minion we want to make sure he his damage goes directly to the opponent's face so it's kind of one of the keys as you know I'm kind of uh, I play the allergist in almost all my decks that's kind of where you want to be you want to protect him and we'll do this Got that toner. Now the interesting, I added this card to the deck here recently. The Bardic Beetle. I went ahead and crafted it because I thought this would be a great addition to a control deck. Kind of a let's say you get involved in a late game controlling matchup. Um, that 
spits minions that will allow you to jump over guard. It could be a game changer, something they have to address. So it may force a um, defensive player to play more offensive to deal with your um, pressure from the from the three one jitterbug. I added to the deck to see. Pretty much added to all my control decks actually to uh, give me a little late game punch. As I try to look for different ways to increase my decks and 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 become stronger. That is definitely a card. And really as I discover more when I first when I first played the game, I started designing decks. There were six or seven or eight core card eight groups of core cards that I used in every deck. Cold Tooth was one of them. And uh, as I've played more, I've discovered all the other cards in in the deck and all the guards in the game. They were so good and so powerful. Um, really, this game was designed so well. And um, there's so many great things, as you discover it. And, and a lot of it, I just didn't have the cards. So as I get more cards, I'm able to play more and just, and just see how... We'll go, ahead and, we'll go ahead and put this out here. I'm able to see just how really deep and good this game is. And the more cards I get, the, the, the more I enjoy the game. Um, there's a, I made champion four times, and I've done it with the cards I have. It's not about really becoming champion. It's really about discovering all the fun ways to play this game and the different combos that are inherent in it. There's just a lot to it. And it's been a lot of fun to um, uncover all the different ways to play. And now you see I talk about the value of the um, the jitterbugs. Right now we have a situation where he's going to put people in guard. And that, that happens a lot. That's why I kind of put this jitterbug in. Or excuse me, not the jitterbug, but the um, bardic beetle in. Because a lot of times what will happen is I'll gain control of the game. I'll start to wear an opponent down. And it just takes a very long time to do that. So instead of doing that, I kind of hastened the end game, if you will. Um... And now this is neat. This is one of the great things about Master Croc. Because he's immune to equipment damage, I can run this in there and take absolutely no damage. I just love doing that. And I'm going to jump over and hit him with him because that's what he was there for. And I'm going to probably just do this. Put this guy in guard. Just to make him deal with it, and there's another three one, and it's just it's really good pressure. A lot more, I have a lot of things in my deck, but that's that's kind of cool. It's kind of a way to showcase the Bardic Beetle. I think he's uh, quit. Is my guess here. That's just, that's just a guess. Also, this weekend, I can't even what happened this weekend. I discovered a couple new games. Um, Gremlins Incorporated. I streamed a little bit on it. Um, streamed a little bit on it uh, this weekend. Gremlins Incorporated. I want to watch it. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, It is Wow. I was just having to watch it. Okay, so and we'll win with the Bardic Beetle, just as intended. <laughs> uh so there we go. We won. You can't beat that when you put a you put a card in 
try to utilize a new card and you end up winning by that victory condition, like, you know, you just can't draw it up any better than that. All right, we're going to keep on going until we can spin that wheel of misfortune. Because I am just, uh, man, I just, I try and try to, to get cards. I just can't. It makes me sad. But um, as soon as I finish that, get that wheel spin, hopefully get one of the new cards. I'm going to build some decks and play them on stream. There's some fun decks today just to do some theme decks maybe. Um, with cards, maybe build decks from cards I've never used before. Because over the past week, um, I've discovered, well, since the, the patch changes, I've discovered a lot of new cards that I, I'd never used before that are actually quite good, one of which being needles in my hand. Uh, needles. Um, how great that card is. So, you never know. Plus... Well, over the past week, I've discovered uh, Needles, um, the Bardic Beetle we showed last game, Placid Plowers become one of my favorite cards. There's so many cards in this ser in this set that I'm discovering as I play, um, just truly how good it is, that uh, it might be good just to, to look at all the other ones as well. I need to try to destroy some minions to, on my quest, so... I should have picked a different deck, but I want to try to get Poe to 40 and uh, start unlocking some foil variants of the common cards. A foil bunny bowman. Oh, if there's ever a card I needed in my life. Kind of jealous, I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of a little jealous. <laughs> a foil bunny bowman. Sweeter than you, who? I need that. I don't have that. That card just is calling out to me. I might, have to, I might have to actually spend dust just to craft it. No, I'm sad that I'm serious about that. So, we don't have anything to protect the allergist, which is kind of... Yes! Uh, I can do this all day! <laughs> Wanna go again? Okay. Just the mere presence of the allergist, I guess, was enough to promote fear in our opponent. Or was our opponent, did our opponent just log in just to show us the foil bunny bowman and mock us? Maybe so. Well, a rematch with the mighty wolf. Hopefully he stays around this time. Ah, uh, good hand. Take it. I'm curious is if you will uh, <laughs> if I play the allergist will quit again. That might be pretty funny. All right, let's post it on the old. Nick, what's up, man? Have you had a chance? Have you gotten a chance to get these new cards, man? Just out of curiosity, I've been playing all weekend, and I've been open. I've been spinning that wheel, and I have gotten nothing, nothing. Well, take that back. I've got five packs, and I got four um, of the cards I don't want: Greenkeeper and one Chi Manipulator. But nothing of not the not the cards I wanted. I'm kind of uh, disappointed. Yes, you are. But I I would love to get some of these new cards. Uh, I guess I'll play him. I don't really want to play him by himself and expose. Yeah, the wheel has been terrible. Yeah, it's stuff. Yeah, I don't know. 
I kind of want to say something. I kind of want to be like, man, I really I, I, should stuff be on the legendary wheel, like or that lowest stuff, because even like it's a hundred dust that doesn't even craft you a common. So let's do this. He's quit again. Um. Yeah, I mean, I or more stuff at least, or more packs. I don't know, because I mean, if you get a pack, it's very rare you're gonna get a legend in that pack. You need to have their legend drop isn't very high. I don't. I never. I very rarely get legendary cards. I don't want to. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that they. I bought three. Five, three packs, three for five dollars. You don't want to. Have to I bought three packs. I bought packs three for five dollars. Well, if you got, if, in, if it, it took you only three packs to get two, that's really good. I have bought many of uh, boxes, and I said, I said boxes, and I have got. Uh, I get basically in a box. I get one legendary, on average, maybe two. There's a, wait, there's a blank? Man, I had no idea. I didn't know there was a blank. Oh my gosh, I would be mad. Oh yeah, I didn't realize there was a blank. I'd be mad. Yeah, I just didn't get anything good. I was gonna, I want to build a deck with the new cards, you know, but I can't because I don't, can't, can't get them. So that's disappointing. But if no one's here by like, you know, by 10, an hour and a half now, I'm just going to go, I'm going to play Hearthstone probably. Okay, this one should be pretty good. This one should be a nice little bonus. I've never landed on a blank spot, no. I would, uh... Just those of you that may watch, this is how you play that combo piece with the contortionist. Um, kind of focusing on healing and doing damage. You see just how lethal that is. Contortionist is one of my favorite cards in this post set. And I very rarely get to use it because it, I'm always being pressured with this Poe and trying to get control. But, uh, I never get to play it that much, but that's you, that, this is actually, what you see on screen is the, um, the contortionist build, um, I like for the Poe deck. Unfortunately, this gentleman I'm playing, he's, doesn't want to play me, so he's just like, hey, I'm done. But you sit there and you attack face, which heals, which pumps up your contortionist, like so, and then you, and you get it. So the contortionist, the allergist, everything works together kind of in synergy um, on this deck. Another day, another victory. When it works. Usually I'm just holding on for dear life against aggro decks. But I find that when the opponent doesn't play, I do really well. <laughs> it seems to be a good win percentage for me. Alright, well, hopefully we don't play him again. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the... We are going to... Uh... I'm gonna go greedy. Um, give this guy a chance to play some cards, and I can clear him out to win, get my quest done. Good. That's what I want to see. I want to see a lot of little minions to clear him out. And I think t t this week they released for the Android. 
it should maybe see an influx of new of new players. I'll be a little greedy here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, thanks for tuning in, man. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a Monday stream. I was tempted to just to do um, Hearthstone right off the bat, but I wanted to uh, people joined in. I'm, and it, nobody usually gets here at eight. It's usually about nine. I might. I think. I'm, a matter of fact, I'm probably going to change my stream time to. Um, hmm. To nine o'clock. Uh, push it back a little bit. A lot of people don't just don't get in uh, that early. But we will see. Um, I'm hoping that this gentleman didn't quit. I'd like to get some. Oh, KO. Nice. That was the right choice. It's a good KO. Two KOs. Well, isn't that unfortunate? <laughs> well, the KOs are out of the way. That's good. I wish I could say that was my plan. Um, yeah! Luckily, we have um, more threats. I think then he has KO cards. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I'm still kind of learning. Um, I definitely can shorten the stream time down. But yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, move it back a little bit in time. Um, I'm gonna clean. Well, yeah, clean this crocodile out. And set up the uh, the pig, the healing pig. No. Yes, I will. All right, so we got the board set up kind of way I want it. Um that would that that one hurts a little bit. But we're gonna we're gonna stinky tofu that down, I think. We're gonna build a little more wall. Stinky tofu wall. Um, we just want to hide behind um, that wall. Hopefully, we get needles at some point and build the wall even higher. I think five hours is a long time. It feels like it. At the end of these, at the end of that last week, I was I was tired. Um, but it went really well. I mean, people. It, about one o'clock when it's over, that's when I get the highest traffic. I think the later it goes, the better. Um, a lot of stinky tofu. And I really want the uh, one that heals all my people. That's a good one. So we're getting control. We kind of built the wall of Shifu here. Um, we've got a good wall. It's kind of front end loaded. Good. I need more creatures from him to get my quest done. Um, one thing I, love, I love the scroll eater just because, I mean, that stinky tofu, the healing, it works so well in this deck. 
This is the best deck I have for my uh, my gluttony deck. Is my best deck for stinky tofu for my scroll eater. Do 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 do. More stinky tofu for you. We're trying to get the quest done. We're not trying to be bad manners here, but um, we have a quest to KO thirty warriors. <laughs> And we are going to try to do that. So we are going to go for... Eh, I guess that's game. So, yeah. Alright, well. Yeah, I don't see you online either, bud. That's game. Another day, another victory. Okay, so we got some cleared out some people there. Gotta get nine more KOs. I'm gonna spin the wheel here. The wheel of misfortune. My uh, my top deck right now is um, that's weird too, Nick, because it's been working really well. Seeing people online, so I don't know why it's not picking up anybody. Oh man, yeah, I'm definitely gonna change the stream time. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it now. Oh no. Let me do that right now. As a matter of fact. Uh, do that right now. Last chance to surrender. We'll try at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and see. Um, Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh... Oh, task. I need this person to play some uh... that's what I want to do today. I remember what it was now. Um, I am going to start signing up setting up signups for the tournament of champions I want to do it on the um, 25th weekend um, I'll post some information on it when the crowds start gathering here I'll post I'll talk some more information but we're gonna sign up the signups for the tournament of champions we're gonna call it the Shifu Invitational Shifu the Cards Invitational um, we are going to do it on the 25th, I 
No, we're going to do it on the 26th of March. 26th of March, we're going to do the Shifu Invitational. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to draw this game out, not to taunt him or anything, but just to try to destroy some creatures. I think he might have quit. I'm running into that a lot lately with my Poe decks where people are quitting because uh, it's just a really tough deck to go against. And I feel kind of bad. Mostly because it's hard to uh, finish my quest. Um, so, yeah. See if I can get it. Uh, Digestive support? Try a line for a non stop sweet treat goodness. Hold on to your tiara kind of. Dragon Warrior, and you're the Dragon Warrior. Get it? Because you know it's your turn. Dragging. Well, this is not going to help us in our quest. So, um, yeah. Although I am thinking about doing a um, video on this particular pro deck, I think, after this. That's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll cut a video. And then uh, maybe switch over to Hearthstone. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. So here we go. Working with the contortion uh, synergy, we attack with the pig. The pig heals two. It adds damage to the contortionist when the allergist attacks. And there we go. That's that's basically in a nutshell what this Po deck can do. Sorry, I've been quiet. I'm trying to do a couple different things while um, preparing for the stream and whatnot. But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to um, um, have a synergistic deck with contortionist, allergist. Every kind of is you can think of. Yeah, sorry, Nick. I don't know why I'm not appearing online, man. Um, I thought they had it fixed, but I'm, I'll let me finish this up and then I'll, I'll turn it off, turn it back on. Maybe I'm just lagged out, kind of thing. Can't seem to get someone to stick in. Another day. Sorry about that, man. Really. Um, this is hard to play at all other level. 
Speed of Fury foil. Okay, we still need to get seven, um, seven, you know, knockouts. So. This is a level two player, so I don't think he will um, leave. But here we go. We'll see. Um, we're going to keep the allergist Let's come. playing against the Tigers. Should be interesting. Uh, if I had to guess what this person is going to be playing, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be the, the sheepish student aggro combo. We will see. For those of you who just joined us, um, it's a control versus aggro matchup. Well, I'm assuming. We will find out. Um, Burly Ox, when you see Burly Ox, at least for me, I think of uh, this is a starter deck. Um, but if he's risen to rank two, that still could be the case, but that tells you he's really good for that starter deck. But more than often than not, it's probably a uh, sheepish student deck. Do I have a dragon warrior? You're the dragon warrior. Get it? Yeah. I see a lot of people playing. I still don't get that card. Um, it seems to be a starter deck. Is my guess. We shall see. Definitely a starter deck. No, no, that's not a starter deck. So it's some tweaks. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Yeah. Bowman. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. We will. Later, bud. We will see. I'm actually kind of glad he did that. Trading that damage into that minion, that's good. Um, he's really gone all in. He has gone all in on his course of action there. And I don't, I, I'm glad he's already emptied his hand. Um, really, at this point, this game's pretty much over. I hate to say that, but it is. It, um, looks like he has a lot of low-cost minions. Now, he probably has a KO. That, that card in his hand is probably a uh, cheap shot. So he'll take out, he'll clear out this um, trample horn. I'm sure it's a, it's a cheap shot. Um... I guess I was wrong. So we are going to play Scroll Leader. We're really not in too much of a hurry. We'll clear out his threats. Again, approach that in different ways. No. Next turn, we'll put out our um, Bardic Beetle, put some more pressure on. We will see. We'll see what he's trying to do here. 
He's looking for answers. It was like a pretty straightforward deck. Um, Tigers. We're going to let this new card that we crafted do some work. I know I've said it a few times. I just I just don't understand meditate. Um This don't I never got it really. Let's see this game. Um, I mean, you know, it's a big creature and everything. You're better than I thought. Um, but it's too slow. No! And tigers. So, yeah.